Entering a budget into QuickBooks is actually pretty easy. Once you have your uh, figures sorted out and you know exactly what your revenue and your costs are going to be, you'll want to open up your QuickBooks uh, file. We're in a sample company right now. You'll go up to the top, click on Company, drop down to Planning and Budgeting, and go over to Setup Budgets. Now, there's different kinds of budgets. Um, if I were to click Create a New Budget, it opens up this uh, window right here. And it asks if I will be doing a, you know, what year we're going to be forecasting. So you want to pick the current year that you're in and whether you're doing a profit and loss or a balance sheet budget. In this case, for the uh, Ignite Spot coaching tool, keep it on the profit and loss uh, radial dial there and then click next. And then you can add, you know, customer jobs and classes if you want, but uh, Keeping it simple is usually the easiest way to go because you can track numbers there. But depending on what industry you're in, you can you can track the budgets on the jobs too. You can create a budget from scratch, or you can do it from previous year's actual data. Uh, if you have that, it's not a not a bad idea. But what we do at Ignite Spot is we we use the uh, coaching tool and we'll come in with our budget here, and we'll figure that out in the Excel uh, file first. Make sure that everything's lining up the way that we want, and we'll use these figures. So you would open that. Uh, Create a, create a budget from scratch button there and click finish. Now it's going to open up this window and it will show you all of your accounts on the left hand side. And again, this is our sample account, uh, our sample QuickBooks file. So these aren't actual accounts. This is a, a much you know messier chart of accounts than, than we would use at Ignite Spot. But you get the idea. It's got the income accounts up at the top. It's got your cost of goods sold accounts and then your expenses below that. And all you do is you come in to each of these items and you'll go from your, your Ignite Spot coaching tool here. And I usually have this on one screen while I've got the QuickBooks file on the other so I don't have to bounce back and forth. But for example, we've got January here at 64,970. Uh, so all you would do is if, if this were that same line item, you would come in and put 64,970. And then it will total up your annuals here. So. Uh, just pretending, let's say this was 66000 you can see how this works out, okay? Um, maybe April is a little seasonal and you don't sell as much, so maybe you're 50000 there. You'll do that with all of your, your revenue and your cost accounts. Now, it is a little tedious to go through and put them in one month at a time. Uh, if you have a, an expense or a revenue item that's always the same every month, like rent, for example, uh, you know, if you come down, and I don't know where the, oh, here's the rent right here. So let's say you've got rent. And let's say that's two thousand dollars a month. You can actually put your once you put that in, just put your uh, cursor in there, and then click copy across, and it will push that all the way across through the entire months or the year, so that you don't have to, uh, you know, enter them one at a time. And uh, that's that's one of the nice uh, nice features about the budget. When you're done, you'll click save, and click OK, and that will become your new budget in QuickBooks for the year. Now, what will happen is when you uh, go up to reports go down to budgeting and forecasts and look at your budget to actual it will pull up that 2019 budget which was a P&L by account and you'll click next and have it show the account by month um, sometimes there are other options in this case there's not and hit finish and what it will do is it will pull up the the budget now so here's that 64,970 and if January had actual sales it would compare those sales to the budget Here's our rent expense for $2,000 a, a month going across. And uh, this is the beginning of uh, being able to look at your budget to the actual numbers coming into QuickBooks. It's very helpful. In another video, we'll talk about how to memorize this report, but make it a little more useful so it's not so messy. Thanks. Bye.